I had a session with Jack Harlow, and we was making a beat from scratch. Well, actually, we had a beat. Pulled up the beat. He say, all right, yeah, take the uh, 808 out. Yeah, take the uh, kick out. Take the hi-hats out. I like, oh, you just want the sample. Yeah. He, I, I'm just going to do the sample. I'm going to go in the booth. Then he came out. He was like, bro, add back to the beat. So we start adding the hi-hats back. Start adding everything back. He was like, bro, you know what I hate? He was like, bro, kicks, bro. That's like the worst instrument I ever heard. So like, It kind of just threw me for a loop at, for a second because I was like, damn, I got kicks in every one of my beats. So that's probably why he wasn't picking the beats I was playing because of them kicks. So I just kind of just fell back a little bit from from it. Like if I put it in the hook, I might put it in the second half or second half for the hook or something like that. But I don't really be using too many kicks unless it's like R&B. I use kicks air R&B beat for sure. But like some trap shit or like some... Something like that up tempo, like I might, I might cut back on the kick because it might already be an 808 with a kick sounding. It might be a kick sounding yeah, yeah. 808 in it already, yeah. so it might just be clashing anyway.